you understand a horse, when you run with them, you feel something with them, a spirit. In the Indian wake, they've always been running. Running's in our blood. You can feel it, it's, it's part of our culture. We used to have to run to tribe to tribe, and I was like 30 miles, 50 miles apart. That was just to send a message and come back. I'm Alex Wilson from Pine Ridge, South Dakota. I'm 24 years old, member of the Old Glass Sioux Tribe, three-time state champion. Crazy Horse, Red Cloud, Sitting Bull, all that history revolves around the Lakota people. Living down here is not too many jobs. There's not a whole lot to do. The things that happen around Pine Ridge and the suicides and deaths and everything, and the drinking and stuff, it's really different from anywhere else. Our tribe has its struggles. I think every place does. We know there's a better side to this great Lakota nation than alcoholism, gangs, and all that stuff. One thing is, you know, the fight of the people. Um, you know, everyone kind of goes down swinging and it's never a defeat. It's, you know, what can we do next? Well, last spring, I was contacted by one spirit nonprofit group and just does positive things for the reservation. Uh, they wanted to know if I would try to help coach some marathon runners. We're trying to make a dream happen. We're trying to get a youth center for our district. Our children have nowhere to go. The housings were built with no sidewalks. So our children have to walk in the streets. And we have to start somewhere to help give our youth hope. And at the same time, we're trying to heal our community. They wanted to find some runners to um, run the New York City Marathon. And the whole deal is we're trying to raise money to build a building for youth in Allen. So good runners were chosen to uh, be the ambassadors of our nation. My name is Amanda Carlo, born and raised on the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation. Last year, one of my co-workers said, let's run a half marathon. I was like, yeah, let's do it. It kind of lit a fire under me, and now I just want to keep running. A lot of people think of it as just like this dumping ground, but I love it here. Like the culture, um, the language, the, just the spirit of this place is beautiful, and I love it, and I'm you know, proud to say that I come from here because it makes me a strong person in who I am. My name is Kelsey Goodlance, 21 years old. I've been running throughout my whole life, but didn't really take it serious till my junior and my senior year in high school. I was placed in top 10 at every meet. Went to state, qualified for state. It was best experience. Found out they were looking for runners to run in the New York Marathon, and I just, I was looking, hoping for an opportunity like this to motivate me to keep me running. And when I saw the ad in our, our local newspaper, I was like, hey, this is something I, I need it for me. Well, today we are gonna run down the number four dirt road, heading up to the graveyard where my sister's buried, and it's just about a good four miles here. She died from suicide, and it gives me a lot of reason to run, and I pull myself every day, well, I only have so little time to train, but at the same time, it's, it's, in, it's in my heart, so I'm gonna do it. And that's why I tell myself I'm gonna finish the race, so I want. It would make me really proud to see our Lakota youth in the New York Marathon. A long time ago, I think it was 1964, a man named Billy Mills, he was from right here, Pine Ridge, South Dakota. He won the 10K in the Olympics. I kind of think this is something probably as exciting as that. It's gonna be exciting. A little scary, a little nervous, but it's gonna be fun. Lots of people, big things. <laughs> nervous. The only 
hope for our people is to bring back some of the old ways and the old respect and honor that we had for our people and each other. You have to make the young people understand why they're running, what's behind it. Good luck uh, on this last month of preparations. Some of these guys have been preparing, you know, good six months now in the New York Marathon. I think it's really cool just like being able to be like a positive representation of the tribe. I've been waiting for something like this to happen and where the kids are making an impact. Whatever dream in life you have can come true. I have people ask me, what are you running for? And I'm like, I'm running for you guys.